Yeah. Oh god. Oh god, that's a big one, dude. Oh my god. Oh god, it's a giant. Coffee and a sunrise, fishing freaks, you already know. We are starting the day off right. Mm. We are just wrapping up a Guggen week down here on Choke Canyon Lake. A lake that me and Trey, my buddy Trey, came down to last year and we did really well in March. It was a lot of fun. We thought we'd come down in February, but you know, we still caught fish this week, but it has been super windy, really rough out on the lake and it was actually warm, but we just got hit with a cold front. So I'm gonna hang back an extra day and do a little dangling. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. So we got the Guggen guys down here right now, but we also got uh, a few of our partners with Ketchco down here, and I'm gonna take out one of them today. His name's Matt. So hopefully there's still gonna be some bass where we found them yesterday, later in the day, bass moving up on beds. Uh, yes, there could be bass on beds, even during <laughs> literally freezing conditions this morning 30 degrees but we'll see I don't know it's really gonna be a mystery this is part of spring it's it's like breaking down what is the weather gonna do by the hour and how these fish are affected around the full moon the spawn and all that so let's go see what we can gather up and give a few fish a sniff She's a little dicey out here this morning. Yeah, it's just kind of that annoying 15 mile an hour. I like my one pounders with, with a little eight pounder on the side. He's probably two pounds. Yeah. Look at that. About ready to pop. Yep, just giving giving him the old crawl. I still I love this uh the green reaction rod, dude. I mean, you, I could just fling the bait so well with it, and then, yeah, you get one that eats it, usually don't come off. Oh! 
<laughs> Fun. Well, just yesterday they were. That one looks spawned out. Probably be a few more on this little gut. Yep. Oh god, he hit it again. Jeez. This is an old phoenix. Oh, really? Yeah. God, big one in the grass, right on the edge. One of these times it's gonna load up. And you see those head shakes. It's gonna pull back a lot harder. Hooked up. Decent. How's that rod handling things? Look that chunk wad. Just a beautiful fish. Nice. Yeah, see? It's good to stay when everyone goes sometimes. God, there are just some large blobs. Large blobs moving around. Let's see if they want that spinnerbait smoke. The big double Colorados. Yeah, the zinger, yeah. The thumper. Did you see the guy get killed in Sydney by a great white recently? No. First time in like 70 years someone's been attacked in Australia. There he is. Oh, that might be a good one. That's a little better. I think I got it. Yeah, man. That's my first catch ever on uh, the old thumper blades. Oh yeah. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a new zinger, double Colorado's thumping, doing that slow rolling, and that's a tasty cake right there. Beautiful. See ya. Love to feel that. Yeah. You feel that head shake after you hook them, you know? Hell yeah. I thought that spinnerbait might be a good deal because they're biting it so slow. You keep that thing down a little bit better without getting the weeds like the half ounce scatter bait. Just kind of keep touching the top of that grass. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god, that's a big one, dude. Oh my god. Oh god, it's a giant. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a catfish. Oh my god. Dude. Holy <laughs> Look at this thing. Dude, this thing knocked the snot off the survey. Holy sh**. Dude, look at this freaking catfish, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was like, that's a 10 pound bass. Well, I don't want to lose his spinnerbait. He's probably mangled. Think you can get him? He might get goo on you. I've got a net, but you know what he'll do to a net. Just don't lose that spinnerbait. Don't let him get your fingers either. Got him? Don't hurt yourself. Holy cow, look at that baby. Spinnerbait retrieved, <laughs> look at the belly on that sucker, holy cow. <laughs> Dude, that's nuts, how much do you think that weighs? It's probably close to 10. I mean, goodness gracious. Big blue cat. It's croaking at us. Not the 10 pounder we thought we were gonna catch, but. <laughs> Still one. 
All right, well, that's a good sign up here eating shad. Absolutely dumped it. Insane. <laughs> that was nuts. That's hilarious. Now yeah, we're doing we're doing all right out here. Catching some fish. <sighs> Holy cow, y'all! So I think that's fish number like eight or nine. Woke up this morning. Everybody's packing up, leaving, and. Me and Matt were like, eh, you know what? We'll go out and give it a shot. Might might be terrible with this cold front, but we're actually getting some bites, but we're having to slow down. And we're fishing blade baits, and I just picked up that spinner bait. And the key is just going slow, keeping the bait right above the grass, which, you know, in the pre-spawn, this is uh, this works everywhere. It's not just where we're at. Even anytime you have that grass, or if you're on a rocky lake that's you're throwing crankbaits or something, slow down your retrieve and just keep it, just touching that cover. There's some bait up in this grass. We've seen the shad, we've seen individual fish and they're right where the grass is starting to taper off and kind of get sparse and goes to like the silt and the mud and everything like that. And this cold front I think is probably gonna push a lot of these fish out towards these outer grass lines where yesterday in the afternoons 80 degrees down here. The water's in the 60s and they were all going up towards the bank. Now we've got 55 degree water and a lot of these fish are starting to uh, kind of move to the outside it seems. So there's a fish right there. You see it sitting on the outside of where this grass starts to taper down. You've got some bait, some different things that are kind of messing around up here on this grass, but I'm just trying to keep the bait right along the top of that grass. Just keep it moving. And I'm liking the spinner bait, dude. Literally just just got these. Just broke them out of the package the other day. And uh, this is a kind of something we were missing, a Colorado blade, big thumper, which I like for wintertime fishing and early spring or muddy water. So keep giving her a dangle. Get hooked up on that green 10 pounder. Oh man, I just saw three move off this isolated grass patch. Giant. Yep. It's a giant. Yep. Yep. Yep, this is a giant. Just slowly loaded up. Yeah, this is a tank. Dude, this might be over eight. This little travel rod's getting worked right now. Yep, 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 yep. This was the move. Look at that fish. Perfectly hooked in the nose, baby. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh my god. That's a pig, boy. It's a giant. Damn. <laughs> Look at that, there we go. Oh my <laughs> gosh, the hook just fell out. Good land job, dude. Dude. Holy cow. That is a... Look at the tail. I'm very curious what this is gonna be. I know. I don't even, I don't have my scale with me. You don't have a scale? No way, you don't have a scale? No, I, I don't know if it's over 10, but it's... It's close, it's up dude. there, dude. Oh my Holy gosh. crap. That's a magnum. Oh my gosh. Let's put that one in the well for a minute. That's a freaking tank. <laughs> That's crazy. I wonder how much that one is. I know. God, I left my scale in John's boat. Where? I left my scale in John's boat. Damn. Hey, bud. Uh, are you still here? You're what? You're on the road? Oh, okay. Just gonna see if you had a scale, because I got a big one. Yeah, I, it's it's between eight and 10, maybe over 10. I don't know. It's big. Hey, Kendrick's calling me. Let, me. let me pick it up and see if he's got one. Hey, man. Yeah, are you out of town already? Oh, okay. Um, I was gonna see if you had a scale and you were coming. I got a big one. Like, maybe over 10. 
Yeah, yeah, sure did. It's very, very large. It's got a big ass. See ya. Bye. This fish might be over 10 pounds. I, I don't have a scale. I just called Matt. I called my buddy Trey. They're already out of town. They're gone. I'm gonna say conservative, it's a nine. Conservatively, it's a nine pound bass. It's so thick and the tail, it's, uh, I mean, I can't even measure it because my measurement stick only goes to 18 inches. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I just, I cut my camera on as the fish loaded up and I can't tell you how many fish I've lost doing that. So you lose I connect. saw you do that. Yeah, yeah. I cut the camera on as it, it loaded up, and now I got the fish. So I got lucky that I landed it. But um, I just realized, literally, the rod I caught it on. One of the things we have on the green series is we have a measuring stick right here. It goes to 23. If it's over 23, it's a really large fish. In my experience, a, a 20. Three is like around eight pounds usually, seven, eight pounds. 24 can be anywhere from eight to 12 or more, you know what I mean? So it's from that point, it's really just girth. But we'll pull the fish out, we'll put it on, uh, put it on the rod and see if we can get a kind of an estimated measurement. Big fish, so we want to make sure we're handling it good and we've got water in the live well. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Look at this fish. Look how fat that fish is. That is a giant, giant bass. Holy cow. Let's go nose to, yeah, it's going over. It's going over, so I'm gonna say it's 24. Oh yeah. It's a 24, and then around this fish is just super, super fat. So guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a nine. I don't want to be that guy that just calls it a ten, but uh, that fish is super fat, so it just might be. But we're gonna put it back in the well for a second, get a few picks. We're gonna let it go right here, so this fish can make more babies this spring. Oh yeah! It's the crazy thing about fishing this time of year is when these fish are full of eggs, like this big female. You just don't know how big they they could be, you know get that extra extra weight but absolutely beautiful fish we'll let it go right here all right sweetheart go make some big babies oh yeah oh yeah Woo, baby so guys there's a little something in the works here <clears throat> working on a little something here for, uh, for our trailers and just as a other general use bait, but um, just trying these out. That was, well, that's my biggest fish on it so far, but uh, it's a nice, nice little trailer for the old bladed jigs. Bait just all over this point area. Yep. Oh yeah. But it doesn't appear to have that good. There's one. Got him. Just as I say, it doesn't appear to have the better grass line hooked up. Come here. There we go. Solid one. Dude, that was perfect on the rod. You like the rod? Yes. That is perfect because it's like. I almost didn't know I had a fish, you know? Like I felt it load up. Time to load up. Yes, that little delay, that was perfect. That's what you want. Fishing a little hybrid glass composite rod right here. Been working on with old Matt and Ketchko. And uh, this, is, this is yet to be officially named and all that, but uh, I'm just gonna say, these blanks are very, very nice. The components are nice. These handles are sick. So you got two bites right in there. Yep. Another solid little fatty. All right, guys, not sure what happened. I just caught a fish on time-lapse mode. That's always fun. But I just picked up a swim jig 
This is a this is actually a good little combo. It's worth talking about. I've caught uh, let's say five or six fish on this this week. Like when the grass is just so thick that I can't get that that blade bait or spinner bait really going through it good. And if it's just you know warm, I feel like they're going to get on top of the grass. Just been picking up this little three eighths ounce grass hero. This is our swim jig, and putting I like to put a black and blue color swim jig with a white trailer. So this is just a white uh, junior size crack and craw. And I know that seems weird, but it's something about that black and blue kind of blends in and subtle. Pops pretty good with that white trailer on the back. So you got the white back there doing all the action and like you can't even see that black and blue through the through the uh, shadows right now so it's a good little combo man I like that color combo seems weird but give it a shot if you got some swim jig uh, cover if your lake or pond whatever you're fishing is uh, stained water try that early spring it's, it's a nice little combo Thought he was. Nice. Loaded up nice with this rod. Solid fish. Yeah, man. God, that was felt amazing on this rod. Yeah. That's a nice one. That's a good one. See you there, partner. Yep. Just when that grass started kind of tapering, getting shallow again. There he was. There he is. Yes. Slow retrieve. Getting them solids. Solids here today. Yes. We're just on that consistent, just steady as she goes bite. Beautiful. See, bud. Top tier boat snack right here. We've got Eddie Ray's summer sausage. This is actually from Stephanie's Deer. Pair that up with some O Snap Hottie Bites. Nice compliment to the meal. A little cheddar in there too. Oh yeah. Wow. Thank you. Jalapeno cheddar. Mm. Got a bump? Yeah, it. Oh, oh, oh shoot, the big one? It's a good one. It's running. Dude, that was the first one that ate it when I popped it. Ate it when you popped it? Yeah, that was the first one. I was waiting, I've been waiting on that. Get that old flame. He's smaller. I don't know what number that is. I mean, we're gonna get up in the 20s here pretty soon. Absolutely crush it. It seems like there's there's still there's a ton of males out on this outer. There might be some that are starting to move up right now with the the air temperature is starting to get up a little bit. Maybe they, the sun might get excited, but I I think the bigger ones are just gonna be on the, the outer rim or any kind of deep spot, like there's a gut, any little deep gut. Pretty fun times. A little blue baby with a hot butt. That trailer. We're ready to rock giants. Setups for uh, throwing blade baits and spinner baits. I like something at least uh, seven foot for casting, but out here fishing these long grass lines, it's 
really nice to have a longer rod. You just get a little more on your distance so you're covering more water. And then just to get them up out of the grass, it's pretty nice. This one I'm in my hand is a 7.3, medium heavy moderate. And it's that glass composite, perfect. But yeah, 7.2 to 7.4, even 7.6 sometimes I like for just making those real long casts. Got 15 pound line on here. So gives the, the bait a lot of action. Um, comes through the grass a little better. The more you increase your line size, the more you're having to deal with uh, uh, well, just taking action off your bait and it just kind of gets bulky. You know, lighter the line, more action, but 15 is a good mix. And that's just straight up fluorocarbon. There's a lot of bait just hanging out here. Hanging. Yeah, may need a shift. Where's one? This one just again. Good one, begging. Pick up the swim jig, swim jig and catch a big one. Look at that. It's large. It's another tank, dude. Yeah. This is a real big one. <sighs> it's like eight pounder. <laughs> oh my God, good grab, dude. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome, oh dude. My gosh. That one looks similar. Wait, dude. I mean, not it's not as much. Long. It's not much smaller. Not as long. But oh my god, what a toad! Holy cow! Look at the belly on that thing. Holy crap! Let's get it in the well for dude, a minute. It's not much different. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> my buddy, my buddy landed that one perfect. I mean, that's. Like maybe a pound or two smaller. Nah, I, I know it doesn't feel as heavy. As it's not one, as heavy, but, but it's it's a big one. Big head. Kostovsky with another knuckle grab. Thank you for sacrificing your knuckles. Can we see, oh. see what you got here? We got some battle stars today from grabbing some big old rattly bass. That's and, a man that's not afraid. And catfish, I guess too. <laughs> yeah, that catfish chomped you too. So oh, I appreciate it. I know yeah. that hurts. But happy to. Okay. Happy to. Let's, Absolute let's, giant fish. This is not as big, but let's just see how long it is. The other one was like curled up in the live well. So we'll see how long this one is. I'm gonna measure it on the uh, on the stick. We we're working on quite the bad here today. Catching some, some tasties. Huge fat belly, you know, female. It's just not, not, doesn't have as much girth going on, but still a huge fish. So let's put it right here. Oh, that goes to 21. Right oh, there. grab that other rod. So, <laughs> yeah, it's probably. Let's see, I'm going to say it's maybe 23. Yeah. What do you probably. think? 23 inches. That's 21. Wow. So not quite as long, but definitely as fat. And I'm gonna I'm gonna call that an eight pounder. Fair. Fair I think that's fair. I think that's pretty accurate. <laughs> All right. Let's put it back in. Go make some more babies. Love ya. Mmm. Nice little slow swim off. Seductive. Yeah. Oh. Wait, no. Wouldn't be a catfish. He jumped. Not us. Oh gosh, it's digging. It's big. Oh, that baby's digging. Dude, I think it might be a catfish. It looks like it's twerking like a catfish, but watch that motor. Oh yeah, yeah. it's a it's a big old cat. Oh, come here. 
don't do that whole rolling thing. I gotta return the favor for a buddy here. <laughs> Hang on. I'm just gonna scoop him. Yeah. Ah, I got gotcha. you. Oh my gosh, I bet that thing crushed it. it crushed it. There he is. You want a picture? Nah, okay. <laughs> want a filet? <laughs> yeah. Or See ya. Yeah, Lee. What a toad. <laughs> I just saw the boil and a jump. I heard a jump and I was like, that's going to be one of those on the point here. Heck of a morning dangle, y'all. We're, we're making our first little idle of, of the day, post like dropping the trolling motor. We're kind of looking at, at the map, see if we can find anything similar. It looks like we're running out of similar type areas. They call it a shack. Wow. Gosh. Um, so we're gonna cruise through here and I think we're gonna make a run across the lake and uh, see if we can catch any more big ones like up in these little pockets. It seems to be the key, like secondary points uh, up in these pockets and then those big fish were at the deepest part up in the pocket. <laughs> Oh, boil right there. Big boil. Could have been one just knocking a shad off the nest or something. Another gator. Chilling up in there. Sling him. Okay, they do exist. Good chunk. Still here. Nice tasty one. Oh yeah. Shatterbait in the wood. Ah, all right. I was like, what is going on here? There's got to be a bite to be had somewhere. Hey, Piggy. You're within bow range. Do you just not care? I've been flipping range. Dude, I could flip a jig on this pig right now. Which sounds weird. Hey, Piggy. Hey. Hey, Piggy. Dude, what in the world? This pig does not care. Pig, pig. Pig, pig. Get out of here, pig. And that's what them big gators like to eat out here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna take it back to the ramp, maybe get a celebratory margarita or two, and uh, enjoy fishing with you, man. It was a lot of fun. Great time, Justin. We, uh, we had some new stuff to test, um, some nice little goodies that are gonna be, what do you think we're gonna be delivering some of these? We got so many new things on here, it kind of depends. A lot, a lot starting basically June for okay. a lot of this stuff so. through the next 18 months. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we got some exciting stuff coming on that front, and uh, I hadn't fished with you in a long time. So it's been a long time. It was good, and um, the, the, all the Googans left, and all my all the other buddies we had here, they, they left, and we were like, hey man, you just want to go give it a dangle? Yeah. And it was the best day. We turned out to have the calendar. best day. Yeah. I don't know if it was the cold front, or if mm -hmm. we just found a good steady uh, little grass, like where they were, or anything. We're going to fish tomorrow morning and see if it was a cold front thing or what, but um, man, it was a good day. It was awesome too, because I mean, the, the the stuff that we really wanted to test, specifically those rods, it was a perfect bite to test Yeah, them. it was. Perfect bite to test Thick them. grass, trying to get them up, and just throwing those lures in specific, so. It was a good day at the office, you know? You mark this one off as uh, product testing, fish catching, and just 
having a good old time. So hope you guys enjoyed it, learned something along the way. Smash the like button for Big Fish, and um, we'll catch you on the next one. God bless you. See you.